gonna explain what cameras, which one, what, which nigga camera? <laughs> y'all just get into it. Y'all don't tell the shit. <laughs> Said phones on silent. It is on silent. What was that <laughs> noise? That was a noise. From where? A silent noise. That's what's crazy. It's called a silent, <laughs> Yo, it's it's called a silent tone. <laughs> silent tone. <laughs> hmm. No, because I don't hear it when I'm asleep. But when you're awake. Right. I just heard it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Baller Show podcast, available everywhere you get your podcast. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share our YouTube page. 100,000 subscribers in. Oh! I go by the name of Ferrari Simmons. I go by the name, you know, BT. OCT, where that? Funny Marco in the building. Hey! Yeah, all right, all right. Can y'all just What's... say Marco? Huh? Just Marco. Just Marco? Yeah. But you changed your name? Yeah. He just know. now? Yeah. You know, I'm one of your friends that changed their name too. Okay. So yeah. wait, yeah. is your Instagram still Funny Marco? Okay, I don't have Sean Moss money yet. <laughs> you gotta pay for that shit. Okay, you, you, okay. you definitely do. So, yeah, but eventually it's just gonna be Marco. I mean, it's that now. Okay. Your name is your real name, Marco. Mm -hmm. yeah, is your real name, Marco? Oh, okay. Like, it's it's on your driver's license, Marco. Yeah, it is. I got a long name. Or is it like Jamarco or Tamarco? Jamarco is crazy. La Marco. If Lamarco. I was Jamarco, phone on silent, That's please, out. sir. Those noises are just man. How many phones do you have? Keep uh, I got phones. Happening. I'll be keeping up with content and then the other phone is for uh, my kids. Gotcha. Oh, how yeah. many kids yeah. you got? Uh, you got a camera? Yeah, I got. Uh, now, how do you have the actual camera? <laughs> yeah, you ask your content. No, because it's one I'm trying to, I'm working on, I'm working with to see if he, we trying to work it out. Oh, to, to see, see if, if he's, he's yours? yours? Yeah. We trying to see if he? he's mine. Yeah. Okay. Are you doing a DNA test? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't want to take blood from no kid. Oh, so they can just do the little yeah, the swab. The swab the I cotton. Know. Okay. It's like 99.9%. So I'm trying to see if he's athletic. I'm trying to see what he can do before I can find that out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. Yeah. Oh. I need to see if he's going to be something. When did you find out about him? Shit, like last year. Oh. Yeah. Is this accurate? Yes. Okay. This is not a joke, right? That's, that's, nothing's really a joke. <laughs> that's what's crazy. So where 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 is Funny Marco from? Marco Kansas. is from Kansas City. Okay, where is yeah. Marco from? It's from Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. And then what yeah. brought you to Atlanta? Uh, a random guy hit me up and said, do I need a manager? And I was like, uh, yeah. He was like, fly to Atlanta. And is I it played. because of the videos you were putting yeah, out? Yeah, I was putting was it, out. Was it Ray Daniels? No, nah, I met Ray Daniels. Was it Saad? No, his name. Uh, he was actually he actually connected to Saad. Okay. So, uh, 18, yeah. so he connected to him. So. Okay. okay. And who yes. is Saad? Saad, Saad is, is a music uh, executive. Yeah. Um, he mm -hmm. has a label 19, 1890, 1895 yeah. 1865 My bad Yeah side. that's it Yeah, yeah. see that's, what, that's why you should just let it Just let it keep rolling yeah. <laughs> What year was this? Uh, that's 2019 Okay Yeah that's when 18. I met you when, when you first yeah. When you first moved here Yeah I remember yeah Yeah And, yeah. and, and it's so funny Cause you, you really kind of The same person Like I think yeah. I think you had like Maybe like 5,000 followers And I, I think Sai was like mm -hmm. Yo this, this guy Like he's gonna be He gonna be big Like Where did you get 5,000 from? When I met you at SL, I was definitely up. Really? So he had, he basically saying he had way more than five thousand. That's fucked up, bro. That's when I came down to Atlanta, I think I had at least a hundred k. Okay. Yeah. Damn, bro, you didn't get you didn't took a, you didn't subtracted ninety five thousand. Yeah. Hey, listen. And I was gonna let him shit on me, but I was like, I can. <laughs> can I say? Can I yeah, say? Yeah, that okay. Yes, okay. So know. okay. So a uh, hundred thousand is 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 still good. I mean, but you didn't. Have, I mean, just saying <laughs> the number is kind of whack. Five, like, you said five. A hundred thousand is crazy. Like to say that hundred k sound better. Well, yeah, a hundred. But I'm thinking like I really met you when like you really first moved here, and they was like, "Yo, he's gonna be." Okay, big. so he's saying he met me when I wasn't shit. I get it. Oh. Okay. And I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Cause I still ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would you say your first big video was the Kansas City first? No, it game? wasn't. <laughs> what, what was it? My first big video was uh, me fighting the air when I was acting blind, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah, why'd you yeah, stop doing that, that character? 
I want to put it in a movie. I just didn't want to do it on older people no more because I didn't want nobody to catch a stroke. Mm. Yo, man, that, like, seriously, that, that was, that's, that's how you felt, right? Yeah. That was my favorite character. That's what blew me up. I remember. Because uh, it was scaring them and shocking them. You don't want to. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, you would just walk up in Walmart yeah. next to somebody and be like, yeah. and just start fighting yeah. the air. That shit was still funny, though. Yeah, I remember. Uh, <laughs> like, I remember doing that video, and it was a Sunday, and Kansas City Chiefs was playing. And we were losing, and I post that video Sunday, like 12, and I went to sleep, and I just woke up, and like, World Star posted it, and it was like, everywhere. And then the Shade Room posted it, because you know, they don't post pranks, so it was crazy mm-hmm. for them to post that. And it just like, went up, and then from there, instantly, I was like, I gotta go give them more. So yeah. every time I would go viral, I was like, I gotta give them more. I never really sit in the moment of like, oh, I'm viral. I'm like, oh, damn, if they like that, I got to give them something else to like. Mm-hmm. So it's like a gift and a curse because I never enjoy the moment. I mean, oh, you wow. kind of you kind of really can't in this moment because it's like mm-hmm. with the internet, it's like as soon as the next day, it's over. Yeah. And yeah. then you got to come up. But you got to think about it. Some people like do because when you get that attention, you just like, it's like even people with rap songs, they go crazy and then you can perform that song over and over and over mm-hmm. and they love it. And it's just like, you know what I'm saying? They want that, but you have to shift away from it. Like, that's the thing. Like, you got to tell them, like, no, I got to do this. And then they don't like, because when I left Walmart, people used to be like, go back to Walmart. Like, this shit that you're doing is boring. So I used to question myself, like, damn, should I get what they want? But eventually I got so far away from it. They accept it now. Your comedy is so different. Uh, how do you describe your style? Uh, I really like Dave Chappelle. Okay. So, like, how he, and how he say stuff and it come to life. So I feel like that is kind of like mine, open in mind. I feel like my type is like I'm a comedian, Kanye West. If Kanye West was a comedian, he'd be like me, where he just do shit and try it, and if it work out, work out. But so that's what you do. You kind of just be trying shit. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I <laughs> but I, I visualize it. I like Family Guy. So you know how Family okay, Guy okay. say something and mm-hmm. they go to the scene. That's how I look at stuff. Okay, like, okay. Go to it like okay, damn. Let's, like the blind character. I was actually done. Uh, I was done doing videos for a minute, and then that dude, I wonder, y'all probably know him, I forgot his name, but he used to do cars and videos in a car with his sister. They used to go viral. They used oh, to yeah, sit in yeah, the car. The that dude, the yeah, yep, he was yep, light yep. skinned. Yep, yep, yep. Him, and I reached out to him, he was like, bro, just do that video, like, video one more time, because I was done doing it, and then it went crazy, so. It's crazy how stuff plays. The, um, the job application ones are mm-hmm. hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those Yo, are the, so let me ask you a question. So. A lot of people pranks online are fake. Mm-hmm. Are any of your stuff has ever been like scripted mm-hmm. or it moments I have to put somebody on. So if it was a business or somebody that could actually entertain, I would do it. So it was very limited because people can't act. So mm-hmm. if you had a business and you can act and we can exchange something, I do it. Like let's make it make sense because at the end of the day, it's entertainment. Funny is funny. Mm-hmm. We we'll go see a scary movie knowing that it's fake, but it still scares us because it's good. Mm-hmm. But we know if it's like, okay, we've seen some trash scary movies. Like, that ain't real blood. Like, make us believe it. Mm-hmm. So right, right. it's been times that I can work with somebody to put them on and make it make sense. Like, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of black-owned restaurants that I did. It was, what's the restaurant, I think, up there by the airport? Um, it's my David's. Uh, no, 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 no. That was my what, shit. That was a five-star restaurant. I me, what the fuck? But I did a job interview with him, but... He handled it so dope, and a lot of people, it went viral on Facebook, and a lot of people was flying in to go meet the rest because it's like, we like how you Oh, that's it. dope. Yeah, so it was kind of like I was teamed up with restaurants in Atlanta mm-hmm. to okay. put spotlights on them and do an interview as, like, if they don't know me. But it was entertainment to make it. Yeah, because I, I definitely enjoy yeah. all of all of your content. And uh, mm-hmm. I think I see uh, one video when, when you were like um, – when you walked into the business and you started telling them what they're doing, that you were uh, the that manager. Was just, yeah, that was really like, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that was. I was yeah. like, no way this is yeah. real. It's energy. I feel like when you do stuff, <laughs> when you do stuff, you just make it feel believable. Like somebody yeah. can come here and say, I'm the boss. If they give boss energy, like we got to wrap this shit up, then I'll be like, then I believe them. It's kind of like the police, like they're in character. Like mm-hmm. they still like us, but in that uniform, they have to be that person, like yeah, your mom and dad. So mm-hmm. it's really selling that character that you have to stand on. Like, okay, when I'm in this, and like energy is really everything, you know what I'm saying? So that's it, really controlling your energy to a high level. Who inspired you to be a comedian? Like, is that a dream that you've always mm-hmm. had? No, actually, I was, I really, I remember just being, I don't know, I had a lot of jobs. I have worked so many jobs <laughs> 
and I was finessing them. Like I used to lie. Is that some of the inspiration behind a lot of the stuff? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just worked a lot of jobs. I used to, cause my I used to, my cousin had a resume and it was good. And I was like, let me use that motherfucker. <laughs> and he gave it to me and I used it. And I remember sitting in the interview and they asked me, how long have I been in the army? And I was like, I ain't in the army. And he was like, this is what it says on the resume. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My next question. I just love how you just pause for the effect. Yeah. That's good. You're you're good. You're good. Uh, but, so but Marco, wait, he's not done with the story. Are you not done? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't care to hear it. I was I trying do. to understand I, I the. the I, I thought you were done. the other jobs that you had, you know, to, and what led to being a comedian. But what makes a comedian? Because that's what I want to understand too. Y'all can teach me because I don't. Somebody that makes you laugh because I'm trying to. Is it stand up? Not doing stand up? Because that's what I want to know too. The definition of comedian because. Or is is what you're trying to do? Are you trying to be an actor or like mm-hmm. what what is your end goal? I say entertainer. Entertainer. Entertaining okay. people. Mm-hmm. Got you. In a way of funniness. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't know what a comedian is because. It's like you know what I'm saying. Some people hit the stage and they're like, "You got to hit the stage." So what about the people that do movies? If Kevin Hart just did the movies and never did stand up, would he be a comedian? What if he just did the stand up and never did the movies? Is he still a comedian? Or mm. so I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Y'all can enlighten me. I think a comedian now, you don't have to be in one dimension. Mm-hmm. Like where you're at, I wouldn't consider you just a comedian either. I would. Right. Just, I would consider you. It's kind of like an artist that's you. Know, they don't rap or sing. Or they may sound like they sing, but they don't. Drake. They don't, yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's yeah, he, he would be an artist, not a rapper to me. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Kind of like you, you're an entertainer, actor, like an actor. He's an actor. Oh, well, like, I, I, I don't know. An actor Ooh. is acting. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're acting. I think. But you're, if you do you're something, talented. you are acting in that moment. If you think about it, because if I'm doing stand up, I have to act and stand. You're playing up. a role, right? I think you're but playing I, a I role. I think that's why a lot of a lot of people that are um, comedians do well. As mm-hmm. far as like um, you know, playing a character in movies, because essentially when you're making people laugh, you have to get into a, a character mode and figure out what audience that you're going to be able to entertain. Mm-hmm. It's not. I feel like it's not that easy though to throw you in a movie because you have to still be you, stick to stick to the strip. Mm-hmm. Actually, enter like if I'm with somebody dry. How can I be me? And that's what I was just talking about. Now I'm gonna ask y'all this question too, because okay. Um, I asked my boy, which duo do you feel like is better? Ice Cube and Mike Epps, and he got all about the Benjamins, they got Friday, yeah, or would y'all yeah. take Martin and Will Smith or Bad Boys? I would say, damn. Which, I, which duo for what? Which I mean, which movie, would you, would you take? Like, just hit for like, all if about the Benjamins, serious, Friday. I would do Will Smith and, and So do Martin you feel like, Lewis. I'm saying if you compare the movies, all like Bad Boys 2 versus Friday at the next, is that funnier than that? Yeah, oh, oh funny. Friday You're just funny. talking about yeah, funny. Yeah, the duo with them together. Yeah, I'm taking, I'm I'm taking together. Ice Cube, man. I'm now, going Ice Mike Cube Epps? and Mike Epps. Yeah. Uh-huh. You would if like I, that. If yeah. I want to laugh, yeah, but if I want to watch So you feel like Will Smith and them, they make you laugh? Nah, not as much as Mike Epps. It was a different type of, uh, two different type of movies, too. All about the, I mean, All About the Benjamins was like a cop movie, though, with them two teaming up. It was still okay. funny, too. though. Mike right. Epps is just funny. Yeah, so that's the same. Martin Lawrence is not at. I mean, damn, so he's you funny feel like too. Mike Epps is better than Martin. Uh, he's more comical. Like I'm going to make you laugh. Martin Lawrence is more of an actor, mm-hmm. a better actor in a movie, and then he's gonna make you laugh. Will Smith here and there. versus Ice Cube. I'm going Ice Cube. Will Smith is a better actor to me though. Yeah, so. I mean, Will Smith is definitely a, a better actor, and he, mm-hmm. you know, he got a lot. But of- how y'all realize Ice Cube plays the same character in, in all, all his movies? movies. <laughs> it's the he same really person. does. He's like, he's like the gangster. angry gangster. Yeah, he's his uncle. He's just like a, not even gangster. He's like the uncle, the grumpy uncle. Yeah, uncle, like he was mad at him in yeah, night school. He, he was he, mad he, at him. Yeah. And, but I feel like that's how Ice Cube is in real life. Right. But did that make him an actor if that's just playing him all the time? Like he can't but, do nothing else. But we can also go that's back a good to question though. We can also go back to some of uh Look at him like Will Smith is an actor because Will Smith can do everything. Right. He's an actor. But if I just stay this character and they put me in this, am I being myself in every movie or am I an actor? Can I be in here and be a serious person and do that? Like Kevin Hart. He's doing serious movies now because I really he wanted to be Actor, no, that's what that's what I was gonna bring up because I said Kevin Hart was getting like everybody was like, man, Kevin Hart is in Kevin Hart in every movie. But to go back yeah. to you know if you're if you're a comedian, I feel like 
a comedian simply just tells jokes on stage. Like, I don't know the, the, the definition of it, but, you know, everybody's style of comedy is different. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't, like you said, take the funny off. It's just Marco. Is that because you're trying to go into acting? And a lot of actors do go into to yeah. movies and to acting. It seems like the, the natural step for them. And it seemed like that could be a natural step for you. What type of movies would you want to see yourself doing? Would you want to be a serious actor, funny, mm -hmm. or just be I all say, around? I say both all because I like a challenge. Mm -hmm. So I want to like, you know, put my goal to doing it. So it's a challenge to it. And you know, as much as you feel like you're doing something right, the people will always let you know. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You still can believe in yourself. Don't put you down, but numbers don't lie. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to pick you up again and put a million dollars into you if you're not bringing a million back to me. So then at that point, you just got to go do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like I'll be open to the challenge. What inspired you to start your show? Mm, that's a good thing. Um, honestly, I had been doing it on the street. So I used to interview people on the yep. street and I called it Cornbread TV. And it was really like, Around COVID time, I was, like, running out of idea. I'm like, I don't want to run up on people. But then I'm like, I remember getting the mic, and I was talking to people, like, tell us how you feel about the vaccine. Like, and then I used to put the mic in the head and shit. So I was doing different stuff into it, but then I started realizing that was funny. So then um, when the network reached out to me, uh, they wanted me to do a podcast. Which network, uh, Breakbeat. When they reached out to me, they wanted to do a podcast. And I was just like... Um, Everybody doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I just don't want to just sit in front of Mike, like, let, you know, so I, I, we actually develop a show together. Me and them did that. And, um, it was like, okay, we got this show for you. And then it was kind of like, it didn't go as planned. So mm -hmm. then I'm like, okay, I got something I've been doing. Let's do this. So I remember sitting down with Boosie and then it just took off. Cause I know Boosie, I was like, well, Mark and I'm like, I got to sit down with Boosie. Just give me him and it's going to take off. And then we did him, and then it was just kind of like that because I didn't want to do a podcast. Like, you know, I was just, How did you develop that style where you just stare and it's mm -hmm. just awkward? The character. Well, I've been doing it for a long time because I used to steal a lot from people, and I used to help them find their shit, and I got to look serious. Mm -hmm. So I used to be a thief, mm -hmm. but like a cheap thief. I wasn't like money thief. I probably like... You was like you was like the cousin that'll come over your house. Yeah, like then somebody just, be like, "Damn, I left twenty dollars on the no, dresser." No, 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 you said to, twenty, probably. Yeah, I would take twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I probably would. I would take twenty dollars because ain't shit. Like, <laughs> right, that's big what money. Saying. I wouldn't, but like I had when I grew up, my my grandma raised me, but my cousin had everything at my grandma's. So I used to take like the toys, the shoes, and oh god, I like used to take his Jordans and like, damn, I don't know where it's at. And they did. So I used to be like a. I used to borrow it though, you know. So I wasn't like a thief, thief. Like, oh yeah, like mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? But I used to like. Take I think the everybody. Shit. I think everybody has has a cousin like like. Yeah, you. that had that was up. He was up. <laughs> yeah, be like, I'm about to go with my rich cousin yeah, house yeah, and put yeah. these J's on. Yeah. Like, man, so, I just had to keep a straight face. Yeah, now you should just like you know. So like yeah, that's that. how that's how you do it, huh? So yeah. would you let the joke fly and then just look? But I would never say that it was just kind of like in you know in the mold. Like, damn, I can't do this. And I used to. Struggle a lot in school, and I used to just let them know, like, instead of laughing at it, I used to just be like, you know, when I clap back at people and just, like, look serious, because it's like, damn. But my shit wasn't really funny, so I couldn't laugh. So when I say something, I just look serious. Uh, how do the guests react? Uh, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you don't show their their full reaction on camera. Mm -hmm. How do they react when you when you do stuff like that? I, I really do. What I, On the interviews, they just keep them on there. So... One thing I haven't got is talking to somebody after the interview. Like, I haven't reached out to the baby and be like, how'd you feel about it? So I never really get to <laughs> hear how they feel after they see it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to be like, damn, like, like how did you up. feel? Yeah, yeah, I never, because I don't want to you got to be careful, man, because you you, you got to talk to some of these people. You know, some Yeah, but I don't do nothing crazy. I got like, you. And, and, I, and I know, I, I had moments on episodes where I knew something happened. I'm like, I'm not putting this out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, with the Bow Wow shit with Orlando Brown, if I would have actually went back and looked at it, I would have took it out because... Yeah, Bow, he was actually he was actually mad yeah, about that. But I didn't know at the time. When it happened, you see, I didn't say that. I instantly, like, left it alone. I didn't draw into it. I didn't, like... Because some people's like, why do he say that? Like, somebody would have went into character. Somebody would have been like, what the fuck you said that for? They would have made yeah. that subject the topic. Mm -hmm. But I went right into, like, another, like, okay, y'all, what's the weather today? Like, because yeah. I respect the out person, how they look at mm -hmm. it, too. So... I didn't know at the time that would be that big. And I forgot about it because we shot so long. And then it was Orlando Brown. I'm thinking like they picked this up. Just it's like the shade room went to that and purposely grabbed that clip of course. and put that yeah, out. Yeah, like, and, and it's and then I'm like, damn, that happened. I forgot it happened. So 
How do you deal with that? Uh, I mean, that at that time, I was just more careful. Mm-hmm. And then moving on, it something happened during another episode, and then I told them take it out. And okay. who I was working with, they was like, let's put it out. I'm like, no, like I do not want to stand behind that. I really respect other, the other side because that's not what I'm, that's not the thing that I do. I just want to have a good time with somebody that, Make them like we lead this, we laugh. Something I can laugh at. If somebody ever was to, you know, pass away, they can laugh at it. Like see a different side of them. Like the interview I did with King, people are coming. Like I never know. I respect him now. He's mm-hmm. funny. Like and you read through the comments and like Queen Niger, it was like I didn't know Queen Niger was that funny, but people are like, damn, I love her more now. So I want to do that type of side to how can I talk to you and bring you to a different world that you don't have to be when you sit down and like this pressure is on you. Mm-hmm. So I eliminate anything that I feel like. Is BS. I respect yeah. that because yeah. I mean we we tell guests all the time, you know, uh, especially Ock, you know, uh, she also produced the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we always let guests know, like, man, you know, after this whole conversation, if there's anything that you know you wasn't comfortable with mm-hmm. in the interview, like we take it out, mm-hmm. you know, because you got to have a sense of respect for mm-hmm. for talent too. You, you know? know, but I still understand the other side too because if it's that deep, I always let them know before the interview. Yep. Like, don't do it. So I still understand that side, too. So I'm not going to say other people are wrong for what they do, because when you step into those rooms, if you want to say, can you lead us all limits? And which some people had told me before, I was like, I wasn't going to talk about that. But OK, like, but I know you still had that freedom to be like, don't talk about this, because if you don't, and we sit in the room, you know, we want to know about that. So this is what the hell we want to ask you. So we still have open like I can't shame the people that do bring that shit up, because mm-hmm. sometimes some people want to talk about it, too, because you never know. Because I'd have had a situation where I sit down with Ari, too. Ari was like, why the hell you didn't ask me about? Like, because it was the time with uh, Meek Mill when they were saying that they was messing around right. with. And she's like, you should have asked me about that. Because I was told they asked it wasn't that. But mm-hmm. I was like, I didn't want to bring it up because I respect you and Meek Mill. And I knew it wasn't true. Mm-hmm. But some people want to clear their name up. So Yeah, you get a lot. Sometimes yeah. they do want to talk about yeah. it. Yeah, you yeah. get a lot of that, too. How do you study for your guests to come up? Do you have a team of people mm. now? No, nah, I just stay up on YouTube and look at stuff. And then sometimes it'd be right before the night before. Like, and I'd be like, okay. And I feel like the best time were, was Boosie when I did him, when he was just like, I told my mama I'm outside, we don't need cable. Yeah. And then I asked him the questions, like, so, <laughs> and I asked him about it, and I knew he wouldn't think that far. So I try to look up the oldest song mm-hmm. that we know, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And just be like, did you say this? So that's what I try to do, just with looking up, like, okay, I know that song. So I look up stuff that would try to get them in, like, oh, yeah, I remember. Like, you know what I'm saying? Question. So, Marco is now this super huge entity. Uh, entity. Thank you. Uh, how does that affect your personal life? Because mm-hmm. I saw you one time and the chain was good. And then I saw you another time and the chain was like, <laughs> boy, you went to Wafi or uh, Eliante or one of them boys. When, did, when like, did you start Damn. making money? Uh, when I start making money? Uh, when the chains Daniels, get bigger. Uh, <laughs> Ray Daniels actually put me in position to like really open my mind to make we gonna, money. We're gonna holler at Ray after the show. Yeah, so I didn't uh Shout out to shout out to Ray That's Daniels. We just did really, his go ahead, though. Go ahead. He told me how to make money. So it was him. I just remember him making me my first promo deal was ten thousand dollars on a waist trainer. And I'm like, fuck, what the fuck I'm gonna do with a waist trainer? Like, <laughs> I'm not near about to put I'm not changing right now. I'm not doing that. <laughs> like and he was like, whatever you do, make it funny. So and I remember going into Walmart, finding a way to promote that brand and asking customers, do they got any more of these? And they was like, I don't work here. So I'm like, damn. So I'm going to force customers to tell me where it's at. And I'm going to So that's when I realized that was that. And I also um, learned, like, with don't water your brand down with promotion. Like, promo here or posting other people's stuff. Find ways that you can get involved and make money. So once he installed that into me, it was hard for me to turn down a 5000 Dollar, like somebody like promote my dogs for 5k I'm like shit I'll do it but that'll water your brand down where people be like I'll follow you for you I don't care about little Tay-Tay pit bulls so that will water your brand down so find a way that instead of you giving me 5,000 with them I'll come to you and do something with the dog give me 10,000 now y'all got me with the dogs and I'm showing them I really you know mess with you and mm-hmm. I believe in your brand instead of like promoting fake stuff and you order from them it's like oh you scammed them so I had to be, yeah, you, you know, careful. Be careful with that. Yeah, but yeah. you got to turn down money. So I feel like I turned down a lot of money. And to this day, I still am turning down stuff because I believe in certain stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I believe mm-hmm. in, like, supporting people. And that's, like, now with merch and I got, and I'm telling them I just don't want cheap T-shirts. I want something that I will wear. Did you do the business yourself at the beginning? No, I got help. Okay. But I started picking. I learned. And I was around people with money. I wanted to learn how to get it. 
and not ask for it. Did also. they pick put you on to somebody to help you with that, or did you mm-hmm. already have your own own? No, nah, it just happened. I say manifesting. So people has been coming as I'm asking through God and me being a good person that put me through good people. You know what I'm saying? And it's been time I met him and he has been got me a room with big people like, hey, believe in this guy, let's BT. do a show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they just like, it didn't happen, but, and it still don't mean that it can't happen, you know? Then it'll be like, you know, damn, this is what we manifest, so. Yeah. And I met him too, you know, so even at the time, I remember coming to Atlanta and seeing you, I'm like, he that guy. <laughs> I don't get to know him. I didn't know him and you too, like. How did you I sell yourself? Uh, just being me, just being you and being comfortable. And you have to realize too, like, Certain people, you do got to get to certain people to get to certain people. Mm-hmm. And okay. even in that, if I want to be cool about you, the guy to get to, mm-hmm. but be genuine with it. I like, at the end of the day, you're a good person. I am, mm-hmm. so it worked out. But some, it's relationships are very important because I remember I wanted to get to, to Kevin Hart. I'm like, who's close to Kevin Hart? His trainer. So I got cool with his trainer, but it was, it was mutual. Like, I'm not going to force the cool. Like, don't do that. But if you actually meet somebody and you have a goal to get to the next person, do it. So me and him became cool. And he was like, bro, like, and I came to LA, he like, pull up to my house. <laughs> and it was funny because he didn't trust me yet, but he, he sent me an address and who, picked me up. Who, Kevin Hart? No, his, his trainer. trainer. Uh, just trained. Oh, he, oh, he didn't yeah, trust yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, He did because he didn't know me, but yeah. it was funny. But he was like, oh, you a cool dude, really? And really like you. And he like came to the house and then he introduced me to Kevin. And it was dope because now I have two in one. Like, that's mm-hmm. like you. If I know you, now I know him. So mm-hmm. relationships are very important. I tell people that, like, get to know people because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I agree. It lead into something like relationships is better than money because it's going to get you there. So I agree. That's and that's what advice. I respect about you because I remember I was at um Kevin Hart concert and I text him. I'm like, yo, yo, Marco, you at the concert? He like, yeah, I'm like, why you not backstage with us, man? Kevin mm-hmm. Hart, D'Amigo, Bow Wow, yeah. Drewski, everybody. He was like, like, nah. Is this what uh, my time yet? Yeah, he like, he, okay. But, he, but yeah. I, re- I respected that so much because he was just like, no, nah, I mean, I don't really know them people like that. Mm. And I was yeah. like. And not in that way because you can get the, but sometimes, like, it might have been that time for Juski to meet him. Like, that, yep. like, it, like, I had mm-hmm. my time when I met him. It was at the trainer opening party for his gym, and Kevin Hart was there. So not only I supported the trainer, but I met him, and it was like a dope encounter, and we had a whole conversation. Like, this was my, so I believe in timing. Perfect yeah. timing is on certain and stuff. And you said manifestations. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Things are changing for yeah, you yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, Mentally, yeah. How did that change uh, for you mentally? Because now I people go to know therapy. who you are. I want to do therapy. You want to? Yeah, I okay. always, I, as a black man, Thanks a black for admitting people, that. that's dope. I, we never look into that. Like, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't afford that. Oh, I, really, I go to therapy. Yeah, I didn't know. I mean, I, I, be, I didn't know that shit was real. I thought that but was just commonly, movie shit. Yeah, Me too. I see what you're oh, saying. Oh, yeah, you, shit. you thought yeah. it was for crazy people. No, no, fuck no. See, he tried to get me, y'all. <laughs> no, he probably so think look, it's for rich people. No, 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 not that, but it was just like, our mom and dad, like, I grew up in Section 8 homes. We barely had money to pay our rent. We're not about to pay a motherfucker to talk to him. Like, I'm not about oh, to pay. Oh, I see what you're you saying. You know what I'm saying? So we had to limit our money. So now that I'm making money, I can do certain things with it that mm-hmm. to help me get more money. Mm-hmm. But when you're in the hood and the projects, you got to, like, I was living to survive. Now I'm living to live. Like, I'm making money to live. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's a difference. And when you're in that space where you can't have an open mind. So now I have an open mind. I have to protect it. So I was like, I want to get into therapy so I can actually like open my mind and be like, okay, mm-hmm. that. But it has changed a lot because I get up and go. I had a, I have like adult relationship with my daughter, mm. and we used to just get up and go to Old Navy, go to the movies. I do a lot of shit with her, and it was. It's, I just get up and go. So now, I have to slow down with that because any like, I said I just had an incident at Target, and then wow. it was like, it was a guy like I'm literally sitting here, and my energy tells me like this is not a good person to be next to. I know who not to go. Mm-hmm. I would avoid it. Some reason I'm like cool like I still respect I'm like man he a black king like I still can be around him but sometimes you just like don't be around this person but it's sad that we can't look at us and be like you know like treat you yeah cause like, especially yeah. when you famous right so then the whole time I'm like I'm by myself literally rushing to get it was actually like I was getting a book for um, my interview like I thought that y'all seen the interview when they make people read that llama like read the yeah. uh, mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm gonna get a book yeah. I want them to do that to a beat so I'm literally in target trying to get that and this guy, he instantly like, 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 oh shit, don't be going with that plan shit. So I'm used to people saying that, like, all right, don't be playing that, like, don't be playing with that mm-hmm. shit. And I'm like, okay, I avoid it, like, ain't nobody playing. I don't even do that no more, number mm-hmm. one. So I know you don't support, I don't be in stores no more. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, he don't watch me, okay, cool. So then he gets louder, like, hey, fuck nigga, don't be playing. He pulls out a phone and starts recording me, like, oh I'm about to slap For his real? ass, like, yeah, funny more, I'm about to, like, nigga, quit. he's yelling. So white people are looking at us now, I'm like, and, and I'm like, target? so, like, 
I keep protection on me and I keep and it's in my name, but I don't never want to use it unless I have to. But I'm like, I'm so like, bro, he's like, like now you on the loud. defense. Yeah, I'm like, mm-hmm. bro, but I'm still locked in. I'm right. like, bro, I'm gonna let it be. So then it just so happened I'm leaving and I'm like, I can't find the book. He's leaving out. He's like, yo, you still he's recording this shit. Like, yeah, you bitch ass nigga, funny Marco trying to play. And I'm by myself, like, there's no prank. Like, I ain't said nothing to you. So it's just like, damn, this is what people go through when people try to attack and usually. I keep my comedy clean so I don't have to run in those situations where mm-hmm. I'm not an asshole online where mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, you try to do this, I make sure this shit is clean. So that took me to a dark place and I never felt like that. And it was like now, and I was just talking, I got a good relationship with um, uh, DJ Benz, uh, mm-hmm. Dirt. Me and him, yeah, like, mm-hmm. me, yeah we worked Time together. And he just told me before I was going in there, he's like, you don't need to be doing stuff by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to Target. And yeah, you can. I was like, I'm just going can't. to Target. How yeah. did you? Um, how did that situation end? I just let it go. I did my best to just be quiet, and he kept like. Did you just leave? Yeah, I left. I left, but it was just kind of like you know what I'm saying. It's just that. It's, I'm proud of you, man. It, ta- it, it, like, it takes yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it takes a and lot. And then he posted the video and tagged me in it, and it was just like, let me not look. I didn't even look at the story. I'm like, whatever they believe, they're gonna believe it. Like, but I know what the situation was. Like, it was like, all right, cool. Like me trying to be tough to somebody could like. Lose my life Or I take a life And I ain't got Nobody to be there For my kids And stuff So I'm like It's not worth it Yeah you gotta be careful yeah. man Cause cause you know And it was at Atlantic Station I was like I do not go I to Atlantic Station Yo yo That was at Atlantic Station It was at Atlantic Station The Target over Come here on. That's the Come wrong on, place Come on man I thought it was like It was a Tuesday afternoon I'm like it'll be in and out <laughs> A Tuesday And that was the weekend I get it but I Man, like it's always it's always some you know yeah, some, some random too. It's always random. Yeah, because there's always they, some random. They breaking people cars and stuff down there. Everything. Yeah, so. you gotta you gotta stay. You know. Do you have uh, family members asking for money and stuff? Yeah, I got a brother that you know. Tim like, oh yo, that shit that's hard. Like, what you got next? And I tell him like, let me get some money. I'm like, fuck, you got me. So yeah, I got them family so do you members give that. It to them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a giving person. That's one thing I do like to do. I like to give like. That's what I feel like I do live for, like, even laughter. Yeah, I should ask you for some money a long time ago. Uh, I mean, when I do get <laughs> extra money, I would. That's why I'd be like, I do I do got to go. Like, I want to get to a certain point where I'm able to pay, like, random people rent. Like, that's working a nine to five where I can go into a Target that's or, dope. like, McDonald's and see how much they rent, get them money because I know how it is to help struggling, especially single mothers and single dads. Like, mm-hmm. to get them something to help them get to the next level, I really always said that. And then I thought, like, I wonder if Beyonce and Jay-Z, if they just paid, like, people rent whatever. Now, now, you heard what Jay-Z said. Well, I was going to say, you may want to hold your money (laughs) and partner with somebody that Mm -hmm. can open up a, you know, do, like, a foundation for that. Yeah, I would do that. But I'll just say, I'll be thinking about stuff like that. I'm like, dang, if they did that, that would be dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that. Like, I just think of conscious. Like, how can I help somebody? Because I know how it is uh, having mothers that work. Two jobs that don't get time to see their kids. Like, what can we do to get them money to be like that? Helped me a lot, mm-hmm. but it's just you know helping the right people because mm-hmm. giving somebody two thousand dollars could save their life, and okay. some people can't hurt them because they gonna be like now I could do whatever I want. And it's like do the right shit with it. The the good thing is that you do have the platform and you got mm-hmm. the audience that I feel like that you could come up, um, you know, some dope like that. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, a lot of entertainers, you know, I just seen they was talking about The Rock and Oprah and how, you know, they caught a lot of backlash because they was asking their fans for money mm-hmm. to support, you know, the fire that happened in mm-hmm. um, Hawaii. Mm-hmm. And people were people were upset about that. I don't feel like it's bad, though. You don't think it's bad when people who got a lot of money are asking for fans for no, money? No, because if you got it, because it's some people like us or him that probably got a thousand followers that wouldn't mind providing for it. So I, mm-hmm. you can't give... You're catering to the people that can do it. I'm not going to get upset for something I can't do. Then it's just kind of like this wasn't your room to be in. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of like if you mind doing it because we got people that got more money than The Rock that we don't know about. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and if they want to give it to them like them because I support The Rock, then what's wrong with that? Mm-hmm. So they're just giving, providing an opportunity. Yeah, for so if you want to do it, do it. People. Now, it'd be, it'd be wrong if they bad. Like, y'all broke. Y'all need to, then it'll be different. But if I do something and like... It's times that, you know, I did a no sleep challenge and I'm giving away money. And I saw like, that. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, and I'm giving away money. And, and whoever stays up the longest. Yeah, and I gave away, like, you know. That, that'd be a long. That'd be, yeah. You'd be up with them, too. Yeah, I go to sleep sometimes, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but, what's, the, what's the longest you uh, you stayed up on the, on the no I'm sleep? I'd be gone, bro. And, like, I'm not long. I, I be paying mods to help watch the show. But it's just something okay. I want to do for entertainment. They can stream. They be, and yeah, with they that, be, it get, it? people tapped into it and people watch they it. They just be staying up. Yeah, it's like a game. They just stay the winner get again? Yeah, I had, like, 
fifteen hundred in the PS five mm-hmm. to stay up the longest. So it's usually supposed to be twenty five hours. So you just really want the man to go to sleep, but it didn't last it for like three days and people get knocked <laughs> down. It started yeah. over forty people and everybody get knocked down. But yeah. and oh, I I'll people, be up. It was people donating <laughs> to the show that was like, Oh, yeah, you put I, I like Desi it. Banks hit the thousand before and there was a guy, you know, like that sent in and you never know what people got and what they want to do when somebody did it. Cause they like, I want to send money because I support what you do. You got these kids on the computer; they ain't doing nothing wrong. They stand up. I want to give money to your pot, and I didn't That's ask dope. for it. But so you never know who want to support you because mm-hmm. the Rock done done stuff. He didn't make he didn't entertain me for years. So I will give you something because I feel good that I can help you like you help me. Baller alert! What to do, y'all? It's your boy Funny Marco. Make sure you go check out my YouTube video on Ball Alert. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Right now we had a hundred K. Get us to two hundred K. Let's get it. What's funny? My bad. What is Marco's personal life like? Is Marco in a relationship? Uh, I got I got a little Marco's little thing going private? on. I got okay. a little. I got she she uh she in LA she. Oh oh, that's why you want to move to LA. Wait, 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 no wait, no that was what was that. this though? Huh? <laughs> it's like back and forth. Back and forth, guys. Yeah, yeah, that's why he. A yeah. long distance relationship. It's it's. It's must really, must really like it, bro. You smile and shit. I, I mess Wait, you doing a long distance? You, nah, you gotta still, like her if you doing yeah, long but distance. It's still, it's That's why you always in L.A. You think she you slick. I be working. Where's she from? L.A. She's from L.A. Okay. <laughs> Did you meet her? Where'd you, you call meet him her? in L.A, hey, LA, girl. It was in L.A. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. him with... Get wait, him a wait. Cali girl. How did you meet her? <laughs> You're down... Uh, H, no, no. What's that... Uh, what's that story called? Uh... Everybody go there. Zara. I was at Zara. I was you getting was at Zara yeah. and so you met your girl. Yeah. You shot the. I'm gonna say it's my girl. Don't put that on. You, me. you shoot. Okay. Did yeah. you? Yeah, I said something to her. Yeah. I was, like, was she yeah. working there? Nah, she's just there. Did okay. she know who you were? Look, he definitely gonna <laughs> get nah, some text messages we after this. We definitely just, yeah, you know. Yeah, we vibing. And that's the thing. And not to force things. Like, let it be. Like, and whoever she talks to, whoever talks to. Talk voice. Like, it's about elimination at this point. I don't want you to let nobody go. I want you to want to let people go. I'm mm-hmm. not thinking, like, keep all them because you want because if I'm doing my job, you're going to let them go. So, the same with us. Like, I don't, a girl shouldn't worry about who we talking to. Unless we do our job, we're going to be like, you the one for us. I want to leave people alone. Mm-hmm. Then once I show you that, then that's when it's like the loyalty Because you guys begins. are just dating. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. But how do you spend time with her? Uh, FaceTime. <laughs> Has she met your daughter? Uh, has she met through FaceTime? Yeah, FaceTime. Yeah, or my she, daughter met her daughter, so they like play like. Oh, Marco, you really girl. like this girl. You, yeah, really, like could, you really like her. Yeah. That's what's up. Damn, you drag. All right, next question. <laughs> 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 hey, when do you ever see him on comfortable interviews? This, this is how you know he likes now, it. How, how does it feel to be interviewed? Because you're you're usually on the other side. It's, it's good because if you, I was just saying that if you get in the situation, just flop it around. That's what yeah, that's why you're over here trying to ask those yeah. questions. You're trying to ask those questions. Yeah. No, shit. that that means we got to come to your show. Yeah, yeah, you oh, yeah. yeah, put us on your shit. We ain't BT, gonna be late BT like you. BT gonna go but. viral though. I was, <laughs> dog, you was two hours late, bro. Huh? You was two hours late. I apologize. It was you Rich did? the Kid fault. So what you what you working on? Yeah, back to we sitting down with Kevin Hart with me and Desi. We were put you know working in to produce a show. So with that is with the pilots and. You know, giving a real to, you know, make sure this is what y'all want. This is what we want to get y'all. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Desi, too. Desi has helped me out a lot. Like, dude, yeah. you know, and that's one thing. When you get next to certain people, like, learn. Like, mm-hmm. don't hate. Yeah. If you can hate on somebody, you can learn from them. Because obviously you hating them for a reason. They doing something right. Mm-hmm. So I just love that. I love the love. You feel me? And that's free. Like, loving somebody is free. Hating is so much energy. You know what I'm saying? So... We got that, and we going back and forth with ideals, and we didn't shot pilots with that. So now, who y'all working with? Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah, this so man doing beat. big things. Yeah, that's. We love to see it. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, even if it's not me, but I feel like we need to develop that Will Smith and Martin. You know how they just yeah. put them together? Like, yep. if it's Desi and somebody, if it's Ha Ha Davis with somebody, mm-hmm. and we need that. Yeah. Like, I want to see that duo where we never knew we had needed Will Smith and Martin. Like, mm-hmm. we didn't get that. You know what I'm saying? Like. I want that. Even if it's not me, I want to see it happen. Like, that's dope. I got to be next to that person. And yeah. With, you know, just hilarious and be Simone. Like, even it's the girl, like, Nikki, like, how they did the, uh, you know, they used to give our shows crazy. Like, the Parkers, mm-hmm. Steve Harvey. Like, don't, we don't got Nikki and Kim. They don't, yeah. they don't, they yeah. don't do that anymore. Yeah, but. We get I, all the I reality shows. Now, yeah, that was going to yeah. be my pick, though, but you didn't ask me, but Will and, and Martin was going to be my pick. Oh, uh, Will and Martin? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they got a they got a good duo. Yeah, that's yeah. forever duo. Yeah. yeah. Mike Epps and him was just like a moment. Yeah. So you got it. Yeah, she got it. So um, now you're doing stand-up. Yeah, stand-up. How do you like doing stand-up? It's, it's very, very 
open with sharing my mind. I want to get right now is really I'm sharing them what they see, and then I want to get into the stand up like what mm-hmm. they don't see. Mm-hmm. So it's like I want to share y'all like with you my just story. doing like jokes yeah, about my st- like really just me like struggling through school. Why I am in this, my daughter, our relationship, my mama, because I grew up with a family like full of comedians. You know what I'm saying? So I want to share that, but right now I had to develop that. So mm-hmm. it's gonna take my time. So no booze yet, right? No, 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 no. no People I, love it, but I feel like every great comedian has been booed. Yeah, I, you know what's crazy? I have not got booed yet. Okay, I probably got a look like I ain't feeling this. I didn't see somebody like. Mm. I ain't feeling it, but gotcha. I ain't got the boo. I I done held my own with that. Now I'm so thankful for being able but to do that. But that's why I feel like a lot of like social media stars and comedians are afraid to do stand up because you they're like, what if it. I go there and get booed? No, but you gotta want to do it. You gotta first off. One thing I don't do is nothing for the money. So it, it's times like I'm just now starting to get a little money, but like you know, as I'm doing shows, like mm-hmm. like damn, I'm walking over. This is what they can make. So imagine what. Kevin Hart and them making like so Man. that ain't nothing. So <laughs> HBO special. It's just kind of like <laughs> Netflix special. And it's times I go on a road with Desi, and it's like like you know Desi always want to look out for you, but like bro, I just want to learn from you. And he like bro, I respect that about you. And that's one thing Ray messed with me about. And me, I learning is better because if I can take from you, I will take your knowledge because that's gonna get me far. Like and it's gonna bring you the money. Yeah, that's it. And then I got my own. Like <laughs> you ain't gotta ask. You can give me you know fifteen for a show, or I can go with you. And do 15 shows and make my own 20,000, my own shows. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's just really knowledge, get you far. What are some mistakes that has happened along the way that you was like, damn? Mm. Damn, wait, I'm, I'm really trying to think of one. Because it was it was times I wanted to respond to stuff. Mm. And I learned when you do respond, it make it worse. Mm. So I, I talked to a couple artists where it's just like, how do you handle this? And like, don't say nothing. But you know when you say something. You mean like comments and like, yeah, stuff like, like that? Yeah, comments and whatever they think is just like, like, Leave it alone, you know? So even with now, like the Bobby shit, that's what's going on right now. Everybody like, how do you feel about her? Yeah, we, we was going to talk about that, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we was, we was hey, getting answer, to that. Answer the first part, though. I called answer you about mistake. that. Answer the mistake part. But I'll just say I haven't had a mistake. I feel like I have endured, like in my family, myself, but publicly I haven't because I just respect myself and I respect other people mm. that don't know what's going on. And because when you cater to the people that do know what's going on, it's picking on you. You answer them, but you also answer people that don't know. Mm. And it's like, damn, I didn't know they had a problem. Let me look into it. But you're answering to people that did know. So it's 50-50, and I don't want to get 100. When I get out there, I'm 100 now. Everybody know. So mm. I say I haven't had a moment publicly, but indoors I have, and I keep that like private with me because I wanted to keep it indoors. Anyways, how, how do you feel about... Uh, Who are you? Like, where'd you... Who am I? Yeah. Is that a serious question? <laughs> Did she hit you or you hit her? Like she had hit me up. Okay, and I, I feel like you blew her up. I say I and I say we both did it because she was her. She's her, and I played a part because I did have a bigger following. So, um, I feel like the people like, as you can see, the people like what we did together. Right. Mm-hmm. So that was never like the problem. I feel like, and I never said this. The problem was kind of like it shifted because on my page she got introduced as. I don't know, like, but I want to know type of girl. Like, mm. I don't know about this, but I want to know. And then now it's like, I don't know and I don't care. So now she give up that to Offset and stuff. Like, I know you're Offset, but I don't care. But with me, it was like, I think you're funny, Marco, but let me learn about you. So on my interview, it gave that open where she was like, like trying to figure me out. But now it's like the interviews, I think they're like, she's trying to shit on people. And when I watched the interview with Offset, I was like, damn, that was pretty bad to Which be like. Which is why I don't like the style yeah, um, but isn't it your But it style? didn't start off like that. No, I don't do. I don't get people in my interview and try to like below them. Like, yeah, she's I don't do that. yeah, she's been like. I just wanted up. to make that clear because a lot of people think that no, that's not, your style. Different. No, it's that. De- I mean, I feel like certain people get inspired by certain people. I get inspired by other people, so I, she probably have expired something from the interview that did work. Who wouldn't like if it go great and you in that field pick up something? But okay, mm-hmm. got it. Understood. So I feel like she picked up something, but I wouldn't point out and say that's that because I'm expired. So the culture people. can blame you for mm-hmm. Bobby. What? <laughs> because <laughs> everybody is every the culture. No, now. but she blew up bigger after Drake did the interview. So no, Drake? no, but I think but, Drake started it. So yes. did Drake see your interview and then went to interview yeah, with her? He's seen our clips. Yeah, Drake. So yours, was first, yours was before Drake's. Yes. Yes. Drake, that's why I say he started. That, but wait, has Drake ever interviewed with you? Nah. 
Do you feel find offense to that? No, because I say it's perfect timing and stuff. Maybe, you know. These bigger stars are going to white media versus mm -hmm. black media. Do mm -hmm. you feel any type of way about that? No, because I got an open mind. To it's a reason. You're black to, media too. <laughs> yeah, but I okay. still I still have an open mind though, and it's always another side to the book. And I don't I don't want to be. I've been in that side where they're blaming you and doing stuff, and you have a story too. Mm. So I have a have the open mind because imagine you know what I'm saying somebody doing that with us. What if white people starting that? Y'all don't do our shit, you know. So it's always a two-sided thing so I just have an open mind okay. to something and mm -hmm. I just try to stay away from negative because it's mm -hmm. always another side to it because I can agree with that I just I had to be open because it's just times that you know Kiki Palmer just said it what makes that side better than that side and what she just said with the Lizzo thing like it's, it could be wrong or right but it's always 50-50 in things what do you mean by that it's just kind of like if you like Trump and I like DJ, I can't call and say that you're wrong for, like, for who you mm -hmm. like. Like who you like, and I like mm -hmm. who I like. Don't fuck with us. We won't fuck with you. I, so, think, I think more so people, people like black media is just, you know, just kind of feel away because it feels like these big no, artists that could, that could get, shine I light that. I in, a certain, in a certain media, they, they that. go somewhere else. And, yeah. you know, another thing that um, I was talking to my boy about, I said, man, you know, I don't believe in the whole, like, you know, these people got to be for the culture and stuff like mm -hmm. that because I believe that everybody should be helping everybody. Exactly. What, what, I, what I don't like is, you know, you see a lot of times where like, say if you go to a club mm -hmm. or you say if you go to Nashville, you go to a country club, you ain't never seen a black DJ. Right. <laughs> I haven't. I, I probably won't. I'm just saying. <laughs> So it's like I'm like we welcome everybody into our yeah. culture, right? Mm -hmm. But we're not welcomed into to other. I can cultures. say that I can agree with that. I didn't see that, and if it has happened, we ain't seen it a lot. So you're only right. speaking on your experience, right? Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say we. You can just use the word like I haven't seen mm -hmm. it from my experience and from. I agree with you. I haven't seen that, so I agree with what y'all saying with that. Where it's like, damn, you could come over here. Why? What's the reason? But we won't know. So I don't feel like it's my place to say you're wrong. Because you haven't responded to me. Once I hear your response, then I can say, okay, mm. I don't fuck with that. You're wrong for that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'm a firm belief for hearing the other side. But if they don't say nothing, all we got is assumption. So who's to say my idea or what I think is right? Well, what I think is right that Drake need to come do your podcast mm -hmm. because he done did hers. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't understand like how all these, like because Rory, I knew, I found out about her when he interviewed and I think the world did as well yeah. because a lot of celebrities do follow you. I remember Drake used to comment on yeah. all of your videos, mm -hmm. you know, and probably still does. But I realized that it seems like that the style that she kind of took from you, she kind of did it in a negative way. And I think yeah. it's just kind of rubbing people the wrong way, especially when she did the interview with, with Barstools. Mm -hmm. And when she went on there and she was talking about how, like, you know, the mm -hmm. situation with her and Yachty. I caught her out on that, too. I said, you were wrong for that. And she was like, oh, they backdoor. I'm like, you're wrong. Like, I definitely caught her out. And I'm like, that's, and that was just me saying my opinion. That's, like, I feel like you're wrong because here's somebody that welcomed you into their house and you say that to other people. So I did. And, I mean, you know. Yeah, because it kind of makes it look like she ran to, like, yeah, you know, like, her people. That was the plan. And, and then, and then it was, like, like, exactly. was like, yo, I, I'm not comfortable saying this, yeah. you know. In yeah. this platform, but I'm gonna go to, to you mm. know to my people and and you know mm. talk how we would talk. Mm. And I think my thing is what a lot. I have an open mind of always seeing success as a good thing because I was a person growing up without money, but I had money around me. So when I see somebody doing it, I always be like, I can do that too. So I have like not no hate in me, like you know. So mm -hmm. it's so I always try to think positive, and some people can look at you wrong for that, like. It's times like, you know, people like, oh, how do you feel about Drewski going past you? Y'all been doing, like, he's in this and that. And I'm like, I can do it too, so I got to salute him. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but the real, I did the DJ Academics podcast, and he tried to like, well, you got to get Drewski. I know you do. And it's like, I cannot hate another man for doing, like, you know, going up or Wait, anything. Wait, y'all got, y'all. No, no, no. Oh, but like, people, right. but I'm just saying they... Well, you know, they're like always the going to put people against each other. Yeah, like Kevin Hart might He's saying he's not a hater. I I just, I've comparison. never been that person. I gotcha. just know if you can do it, I can do it too. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's like, if you're doing it, I'm thankful for showing me because I know I can do it now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same thing with basketball. Like, Jordan showed a lot of people, you can do this. You can get a shoe and, and it lined up for LeBron James. You know, like, but you know LeBron James, is just, we put each other against each other instead of like, I don't, I don't, each other. I don't like that because other coaches don't do that. And we don't that we don't know. We but, gotta stop using that word. But it's, it's no, that's, we, that, that's but true. But we don't know though. But that's true. 
I'm just saying we don't. I'm not in the country world right now because they but probably no, don't have a country rapper. Like, I'm saying like from your experience. Wait, okay, no, just from the world. Who was comparing Justin Bieber to anybody? Right, but he wasn't. Get, he wasn't getting compared to nobody. Right. But what I'm saying is, we never know what's on that side of that fan base because somebody could be doing that right now. But they we're not in their business. business. But, but, but come on, you, what you see. Yeah, that's but, what I'm but saying. You but you see how see it in sports all the time. Yeah, yeah, we we definitely so I, see it in sports. That's what I was saying with and them. That's it's always going to be there has to be someone to compare because someone has to set the bar. So I just think right. that when as and it be, and two people rise, it's going to be some type of comparison exactly. because what else are we going to talk about? Right. But I'm telling you. That only happens with our culture putting us against each other rather than saying these two people are dope individually. Let's say, what let's they say doing. this. Like, we didn't know about that was going on with the whole Joe Exotic and the Catwoman, but they made it public. But we wouldn't have known about that. But you see, they was beefing about animals. So right. what I'm saying is it can happen in the culture, but we just don't mm-hmm. know about it. Because they was funking about him having <laughs> zebras and shit. That was <laughs> some real life. Joe Exotic. But I'm saying, but, but, that, 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 that is saying? a good point, though. But yeah. if that never came out, we wouldn't have known that's going on. We right. only speak for what we see. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just stand for like, we have to. We can speak from experience, but don't put that on the whole culture. Like you know what I'm saying. Like don't put that on the whole thing. Like because mm-hmm. you don't know. Like I was from. Like I remember doing growing up. Like or me doing videos, and I used to be on Facebook. Like nobody support me from my city, and I used to be like crying a lot. But it was just like it was people to have like five people like cater to them. Don't bash everybody because damn, I support you now. You saying we don't, even though you don't see it and it's not big, still accept me for doing that. So mm-hmm. I was wrong for crying when I was. Going up And I'd be like Damn y'all need to share my Y'all share these other Comedy people But that made me look ugly You know mm-hmm. It would be ugly for me To be like Bobby took my shit mm-hmm. Y'all don't support her Like they would probably Look at me They were like Damn Marco Like I'd rather be quiet And stay out the way And mm-hmm. if we talk Like now I would just share my thought on it But I'm not here to bash somebody Because I don't Never want to be bashed mm-hmm. Now how would I feel When I'm on the other side And people like He did that And it's like Damn it's not Yeah that. I know she kind of Feeling next it right to, now You've been the next To famous people We all have And we didn't be in in that room with them where the internet is slandering them and it's like damn our word don't mean nothing but we know the truth yeah. so it sucks when it's like damn that also it. protects your mental space too yeah. mm-hmm. for you to be that way so I understand yeah. that you know just us on our end sometimes we have to be a little bit more uh, non-political mm-hmm. and we can't just ride the fence we have to kind of take a stance on certain things mm-hmm. I think for you though um, you have the ability because the style that you, the style of interviews that you do, it's almost, um, it's still, you know, I don't, I don't want to say comedy, but you're being you, but I just, I just think the breakdown is a little different than our style because mm-hmm. we have to ask someone the hard question like, hey, mm-hmm. bro, what's up? Yeah. How do you feel about this? And sometimes we, we may not want to ask someone the question. Mm-hmm. But we have to Because yeah. that's what Our fucking listeners want And I mean And like I said Moments like this go viral Like mm-hmm. you know It's clips of people Saying you know You go to the breakfast club Or you go here And this stuff that lasts long I seen that thing With K Camp You never know Like he needed to get that out You know what I'm saying So yeah. this Oh is, when he was up here with us Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying Like mm-hmm. we this is our therapy Sometimes too But we have control of this mm-hmm. So just watch what you say When you say it out In that camera rolling Just mm-hmm. be ready for what the bed you make in, just be comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and stand on it. You know, so stand on business. What do you say? <laughs> I'm still on business. So that's it. So that's just what I say. Is I'm learning to, you know, like, watch what I say. And that's what we got friends for. Yeah. I don't need to share my opinion with everybody. I'll call right. my friend and be like, I ain't like that movie. But who am yeah. I to go bash this, mu- this movie to the public? I yeah. talk to my mom about it and my friends. That's why you got friends. Yeah. So I don't need to get on the internet and tell y'all my opinion. Because I definitely have called you in private and, and, and yeah. asked you how to, you know. Certain people, I feel like people share their opinion a lot. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. sometimes I got friends to where I could talk to them. Mm-hmm. We argue all day about who better, Brian or Kobe. But I'm not about to do it to the public. Why? Wow. <laughs> and I do it because I'm gonna have fun with them. We gonna look, argue and make up. Got, I definitely gotta respect your your stance on that though, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, yeah, and and you and you really you're really a positive person, and you know I just want to tell you you gotta be careful because now you are Marco, you are yeah. famous person. Mm-hmm. You can't go to certain places. You got facial. You yeah. have the you have a global facial recognitional recogni- recognized. Brand, so now you really just can't go anywhere you want. Yeah, I know. Without that. a body and I used to just without think like we just like funny people. They don't care, but it's like what? they don't care. I used to just think like, yeah, we just make us laugh. Like I'm not little Derek. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you don't so. have ops. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, but you know, these people, these people on the internet yeah. are crazy because clout is a is a is a crazy drug. Mm-hmm. And I know girls are part of it too. If you talk, they hate when comedians get girls too. Like 
certain mm-hmm. person. Like, how you get her? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? He a funny nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't yeah. like him. Like, you DM, like, I'm like, damn, I didn't know you had a girl. Like, one thing I do is respect people's relationship. Y'all something, just put it to the public. So if I don't know and I said something before, I didn't know because I got, I respect. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I will do is respect thing. I'm like, somebody said, So he ain't trying to steal your girl, but you nah, know. Nah, nah, and yeah. you know, another thing, you know, you are, your brand, like he said, your brand is big and a lot of people want an easy way out. So yeah. mm-hmm. you're automatically a target. You can't trust yeah. a lot of people. You can't just be popping out nowhere. A lot of times without a bodyguard, especially the bigger that you get. Mm-hmm. You know, so you just got to keep that in mind, especially like you said, you want to be here for your family and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be an easy target. I feel like what gets some artists is when you move to another state, it's new to you. So you feel more comfortable because like it's versus when I'm in Kansas City on my home, I'm going to be more careful because I know they know me. Mm-hmm. So it's like, y'all know what I got. Y'all know where I came from. So like Dirk in Chicago, it would be different from Dirk in Atlanta. He's mm-hmm. more comfortable here. But you still have to have that same energy in Chicago and to here, mm-hmm. if it makes and sense. It, no, it's, it's, everybody it's, knows your never, face. Yeah. yeah. But, but it, here in Atlanta, I'm like, yeah, this I'm here new. I'm new here. It's like going to a new school. But you wasn't expecting that interaction. Right. It's like going to a new school. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm a chill. But at the other school, you know that teacher, you know that. Mm-hmm. So you're yeah. comfortable and you know what not to you do. You may have grew up with him or her. Yeah. And, you know, and you know but here it's like, yeah, I got you, you still have to say, have that same energy as your hometown here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I tell people all the time. I'm like, yeah, y'all see me hosting in the club, and this stuff looks fun. But I said, y'all understand this is a dangerous environment for yeah, me. Yeah, because yeah. everybody it's knows chaotic. me in here, and I yeah. don't know everybody. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you never know what people's intentions mm-hmm. are. Like, yeah. you didn't know what that guy's intentions were, but yeah. you were smart enough, and you were man enough to say, I'm gonna ignore this. I don't even yeah. know what this guy went left. To, yeah, because yeah. it, sure. it could have went yeah. left. And then he can have a viral moment. Like, you can have that. Like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if it went viral, expense. went crazy, you have platforms like this where I can yeah. explain what happened. Yeah. So that's what I said. Like, therapy, you know? So it's like okay. a form of belief. And my grandma raised me, so that helped me a lot. And I lost my daddy to, like, gun violence. So, mm-hmm. like, growing up in that, I say the only thing that do be funny is when people test you as, like, a funny person. And then you, like, hold on. Like, this is who I really, this is where I'm from. Don't try me. But, you still, sometimes you don't have to do that. Because sometimes, mm-hmm. like, I don't think that, I don't know if they think I'm a suburban kid or because I'm funny, but I'm like, I'm really like that. I think, I think, <laughs> but I'm like, but you know, I think comedians are kind of looked at as like singers. Yeah, like, because oh, yeah, yeah, you would think my like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're funny. Yeah, yeah. Or, or like, oh, you a singer. Yeah. But right. I think that's why we use this platform to get to know our ballers, mm-hmm. exactly. you know, mm-hmm. yeah, and yeah. getting to know a different side of you, you know, I think people are going to leave here with a different found respect for you. Mm-hmm. And uh, we appreciate you for coming on the platform. Thanks, and man. we just thank you. And we're proud of your growth. And we look forward to meeting you again once you have done therapy, mm-hmm. because I know that it's yeah, probably going to change you a lot. That's what I was telling him. I'd be scared to do interviews because like, damn, I ain't that where I want to be at. But it's levels to it. Cause yeah, but that, this thing going to tell me in the club like four months ago for all, I'm just not ready yet. Y'all want to look know, like what is he? But it makes sense though now because I look I at Kevin Hart first okay. breakfast interview. He did it, but now I look at him now so he can look back. Then it's like part two and part one. You yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, so. yeah but we want to see. We want to yeah. see the growth, and the fans yeah. want to see the growth. And yeah. that's, we also want you to come often. I don't. I be feeling like I'm not living in the moment because. People sees me as doing a lot, but I'm like, damn, there's so much more to do. Because first, it was just me at Walmart. What the fuck could y'all talk to me about? Now I'm doing stand-up. How's the stand-up? Now I'm doing, you know, the interviews. But now I'm like over the interviews. Now I want to do movies. I had to keep elevating for y'all to be able, you know, to be able to, let's talk about this. But if I just did the Walmart shit, I wouldn't be here. But it's all about, you know, how are you? Yeah. Too, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. as a person, because, you know, a lot of things that you shared will help a lot of people right. who are trying to do what you're doing. Right. And you got to remember, too, uh, for your average uh, person that, you know, works you their, their normal nine to five, they're looking to you to brighten their whole day up. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I I personally had, was having a bad day and your shit came down my timeline. And I watched mm-hmm. it maybe 10 times on a row and it, it was the first time I had laughed in a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So I, if you can affect me like that, I can only imagine the amount of people you do that to daily. Right. So this kind of humanizes you and also lets people say, damn, mm-hmm. he's a dope person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna play with him either though You know yeah. what I'm saying Like, mm-hmm. So I just think that Sitting down and having these interviews man Just really just helps mm-hmm. humanize Cause we are Yeah people are celebrities and famous But people always forget That they're human mm-hmm. and I said the same thing that. that That's funny I say that Before like I don't look Just cause you see a McDonald worker at a cash, She's not just a cash, She's a person she's behind a that person. Mm-hmm. Yeah and that's like us. What we do, we're just we're still a person. We're just have a, right now. I'm doing a job, but I'm still a real life person, and that's our respect, artists, and 
And it's and I get sometimes why people are like run up and do certain stuff to certain people because they might love them a lot because I want to meet like Kanye Real fan. and yeah. Dave Chappelle, but it's like damn. I but really people don't need them. to be running up to you because yeah. you ain't doing no pranks on people no more. Yeah, but yeah. you're gonna, you're going to be there, you know. And just to Ferrari's point, we try to humanize on this show. Like that's why we ask the questions. Like who are you? Where you come from? Like mm-hmm. let us know about you, how you grew up, and you know mm-hmm. what inspired you to be who this is, who you are today. Because, you know, the Joe Blow at home looking like, man, I, I want to be like him. And I can mm-hmm. do it. And yeah. people and people from your city look yeah, up to yeah, you. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. and it's, it's certain things that people don't understand what, it, what it's like to evolve. And mm-hmm. that's why you saying like, no, I, I, I wasn't ready to do interviews. And I'm like, yes, you are because your fans are going on this journey with you. So right. when you look up years from now and you elevate it even yeah. more and we've mm-hmm. elevated even more. And, you, and mm-hmm. you know, those are things that we can always continue to talk about, even if you don't even if you're not promoting anything, mm-hmm. you know, you can always talk about life. Yeah, because yeah. we right. all we all live in life. We all mm-hmm. we all going through something. Mm-hmm. My grandma always told me you got the light. People will follow you. And that's what you have. You have mm-hmm. the light. People follow you. Like <laughs> right. I'm not I ain't talking about Instagram or yeah, but just, media, yeah, just people the follow light you. Of, inside of you. So yeah, everybody stand for something. So sometimes you, you gotta share your your moments and things that you go through because it it literally can change somebody who's mm-hmm. watching it. Sometimes if even if it's just one person that you help them, you motivate them to change their life, that's way better than zero. Mm-hmm. Is that a perm on your head? No, no. nigga. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Funny Marco, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you for joining us on the Bottle Alert Show. Before we get That's out of here, we here. do have a pep talk. What to do, y'all? It's your boy, Funny Marco, aka Just Marco. I had to tell him that. But remember, it's a mindset thing. Once you lose that, you got nothing. Keep your mindset in. And uh, I was going to say something else with it, y'all. But uh, yeah, I mean, eat your vegetables. Oh, I miss my grandma. So love. She not dead. I just haven't talked to her today. And y'all have a good day. Love y'all.